Okay, Bronte, it's obviously been a few weeks since we last saw you. You've had a couple of weeks off. How are you feeling heading into this week? Uh, yeah, good. You know, really happy to be here. It's my first time in, in South Africa. Um, you know, felt uh, a couple of weeks off would do me good. Um, you know, ahead of a really busy stretch that we got going on, a lot of international travel and um, you know, with the US Open qualifier coming up, it's um, definitely a... You know, time to be going into it fresh. Um, but yeah, really happy to be here. The sun's just come out for us now. Um, it's yeah, it's it's a fantastic golf course. I really enjoyed playing it yesterday. So uh, definitely looking, you know, forward to the week ahead. Yeah, what did you make of the course yesterday when you're out there? Yeah, I think it's a really good course. I think it's in really good condition. Um, it's it's you know. You've got some incredible uh, views out there on the back nine. Um, but, yeah, I think it'll it'll be a really good test this week and, um, you know, looking forward to, to playing here. I definitely like the style of, of the golf course. Yeah, and your caddy was telling me that he caddied here for Trevor Wimmerman uh, 15 years ago. How important might his local knowledge be this week? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he always does, you know, his homework um, each event, so... I don't think he'll be relying too much on, you know, thinking back 15 years ago. Um, but, you know, definitely just having that extra bit of, um, you know, knowledge here and there, um, just coming up with a few ideas is certainly, um, you know, helpful. Uh, we play a lot of golf courses, you know, throughout the, the year that we'd never seen before. So any time, you know, you've seen it, um, even if it is 15 years ago, I'm sure it'll certainly help. It was such a good performance last time out for you at the NSW Women's Open in Australia. Great final round, second place finish. How do you now reflect on that? Yeah, I mean, I played really well, obviously. You know, golf is that, you know, kind of game where sometimes, you know, it's it just doesn't, you know, end up being your day. But, um, you know, played, played really solid golf on that last day um, and, you know, just got pipped by, by one in the end. But... Um, you know, was really happy with, with how I played, um, you know, been continuing to work, you know, on the things that I've been working on since the start of the year and, um, you know, will continue to do so and hopefully um, you can do one better. You're leading the order of merit at the minute. Um, how much is that a motivation to hold on to that position and finish number one? Yeah, I mean, it's so early on in the season right now. Uh, I kind of have the same mindset that I had at the start of the season. You know, each tournament I come to is fresh and, um, you know, I have to prepare as if, um, you know, I am in the same position as everyone else, you know, and, and make sure that I do all my homework and that I'm as well prepared as I can be going out there. Um, I don't feel that, you know, being in... A, the position that I am makes it like any easier each week you go to. So for me, I'll just be uh, treating it as if I do for, for every tournament I go to. So having seen the course, having had some rest, how confident are you this week? Yeah, I mean, I'm always confident in, in my ability going to the, um, you know, events each week. It's just a matter of going out there and, um, you know, hitting good shots and, and seeing what numbers I can post. But, yeah, always always feeling confident in, in my ability to go out there and, um, you know, play some good golf.